we were on a bird scooter, pulled up to a light, waiting for the light. A guy alone walked across the street blind at like five o'clock downtown. There's no one with him. No, I couldn't get over it. I go, dude, that guy is walking across the street. <laughs> what did Why? The- There's no higher bravery. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared to walk across the street sighted. <laughs> Full sighted on 2020. This dude pulled up with a stick. Like I Bro, got this, yo. He, and he walked, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Walked across the and no, but nobody was looking like, like this is like bigger than like Christopher Columbus coming to America. <laughs> really? Think oh, about man. this. Your eyes are closed. Mm-hmm. There's a street. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna cross it. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. Dude. I'm gonna step off the curb. <laughs> no. Oklahoma City, come on and raise up. Take your shirt off. You know that song? Andrew's probably too young for that. Is that Nelly? Uh, no, dude. Uh, <laughs> say this weekend we on tour, baby. Catch us in the mid. What is that? What's the middle of the country called? Um, mid- Central America. Midwest. No, <laughs> mid. Uh, yeah, Midwest. Yeah, it's catching the Midwest. Great Plains. Great Plains, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Wichita, Springfield, Missouri. Next week, uh, we're headed to Ottawa, Peterborough, and London, Ontario. Wrapping up the month of September, Myrtle Beach, Roanoke, Virginia, October, Greensboro, North Carolina, the return of the prodigal son to Mm. Atlanta, Georgia, baby, the Fox Theater, October the 14th in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Springfield, Illinois, second Springfield on the tour. Let's do it. Evansville, Indiana. Andrew, math capital of the world. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> got him i think we got that show's probably sold out because of that uh columbus ohio joliet a lot of spanish speaking um followers in joliet illinois rockford milwaukee winnipeg edmonton calgary Reading, york norfolk richmond abilene and then we're coming to a few cities in uh december that are not on there but we get to it baby net positive this week's episode brought to you by but 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 blue land ladies and gentlemen hey listen that's the the blue land um they we've had them before we've had them once before oh yeah and they back did you know an estimated five billion plastic hand soap and cleaning bottles are thrown away each year not me i don't wash my hands but Mm. people that do that's not true and if that's not bad enough most cleaning formulas are 90 percent water which is heavy to ship, leading to excessive carbon emissions, plus products are often filled with nasty ingredients like chlorine and ammonia. That's a lose-lose, Alex, situation for you and the planet. Uh, Blue Land is on a mission to eliminate single-use plastic by reinventing cleaning essentials to be better for you and the planet. I get that. Sometimes that Clorox, just put it on your kitchen, just like that smells up the... It's so strong. Yeah, it smells like it's imagine doing harm. just throwing that away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, like it's good on your, but imagine throwing that away. Ugh. It's going somewhere. Yeah, it's ne- net negative if you're doing that. Absolutely. Uh, their idea is simple: they offer endless refillable cleaning products with a beautiful, cohesive design that looks great on your counter. And if you're in living 2023, half the battle is looking good baby just fill your bottles with water drop in the tablets and wait for them to dissolve you'll never have to grab a bulky cleaning supplies on your grocery run also i kind i have to carry my groceries up steps mm. so if you're like hey you get a case of water mm-hmm. there's already water upstairs on the thing right i'm not it yeah i think about that yeah sometimes what i have i just get a cart and i'm mm-hmm. like i'm not putting milk in here i wish i could put a milk tablet and then put it in water. That would be nice. Would be nice. That's not in the copy. But uh, <laughs> right now, try Blue Land's new limited edition hand soap kit, which scents inspired by the national parks and our share goal of leaving no trace. Blue Land is a special offer for listeners. Right now, get 15% off your first order by going to blueland.com slash net positive. 15% off blueland.com slash net positive or hit the link in the episode description below ladies and gentlemen alex lagos is back hello 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 studio hello hello oh is that an accent you have now missed you guys is that an accent you have it might have been it might have slipped you know i've been yeah. in europe yeah i know so he's coming out he's like when i was in barcelona yeah, don't, don't do that <laughs> ibiza yeah don't is that what they say <laughs> yeah oh, okay. ibiza that's terrible who says that 
People who go to Ibiza. It's Ibiza. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Is that over there? It's over there. Wait, should we do... Uh, uh, no, we'll do the uh, uh, Country of the Week after this. Okay. Sure, I'll do it right now. Okay. And then we'll it'll lead into it. Country of the Week, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to all the new listeners. We are now charting an Apple podcast in Romania. Ooh. Andrew. We keep on doing these Eastern European... I yeah, because they speak English. I feel... Oh, true. Good point. I feel like I have the... I don't have anything to say about Romania. Romania. Um, what was the other one we did? That's that's offensive, dude. It's offensive. Do not you think have they're a take all the on same. Them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they're good. Romania is like good at like uh, I feel like a racket sports. In okay. the Olympics. All right. Romania. Like you think they got a mean badminton oh, team? Oh yeah, mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Romania. I, I, I feel like they do great in like Greco-Roman wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, dude, that girl from Romania. <laughs> How do you guys? Yeah. What? Have this off top? Dude. No, I mean, what? Greco. We're cold. You just Roman say Romania. Wrestling? Don't we're you feel cultured. it? So it's got Romania. Yeah, I feel like the women are not uh, <laughs> fill in the blank. I'm going sleeveless, by the way, today, dude. <laughs> nice. I'm going. If you're watching the podcast, welcome in. You're probably like, "There's a lot going on." I'm going sleeveless flannel uh, as a boycott of uh, fall. You're boycotting fall. Yeah, fall's coming, yeah. and I'm not sticking to. I'm staying with. Summer. You're saying like, "I'll go flannel," yeah. but sleeveless. yeah, no, this, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm holding out. Okay, it's like an NFL player. It's like, oh, and you're like, I'm holding out. You're on strike. On strike. You and the writers. I'm staying with summer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm staying with summer. Okay. Sleeveless. How yeah. long are you going to ride that for you? Think? Everybody's like, mm, I need a flannel and a, a pumpkin slice latte. <laughs> Not me, dude. No. Summer. Never that. Stay in summer. Uh, yeah. Romania. Welcome in, everybody. Yeah. And uh, Alex, you just got back from Albania. Albania. What do you think about that, Andrew? You have any takes? You guys butchered this. No, what? Hold on. Okay, yeah, we have a fact check. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this. Oh for yeah, Alex. Two we, weeks. All right, so Alex and his wife were on vacation in uh, where is it? Albania. Albania. My I goodness. Said, no, I just thought Romania. I just thought Romania. <laughs> Speaking of, I think yeah, Romania is different than Albania. John. John has known me yeah. for less time than you, Andrew. Yeah. I know. And he knew more about my wife oh, than wow. you did. Wait, 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 um, yeah, so Albanian's her first language. She moved over here when she was two. Yeah. They were communist until 92. Hey, thank you. So you I were, nailed that. you were there as well. Yeah, confident so, rightness, two, maybe. Yeah, so you two, call me. That's a callback. Two points from, for John. Can you call back an episode before? We just did. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, That's two for me. And yeah, so, so yeah, two nothing. Or two, yeah, two nothing. I'm not, that was the only thing I messed up, though. But right? they were, they, uh, yeah. they're not I mean, near the big, to USSR. Big, no, they, so they were is. way back in the 70s and yeah. then they broke off. All right. And is there influencers there? Yes. Yes, I knew it. Yeah, there's I knew it. like more and more. It's like uh, going to be the new Mykonos, but for the listeners, don't tell anybody that because I don't want a bunch of people. Mykonos, Ibiza, We're trying all, to keep all it, those keep like uh, it, whatever the one in Mexico is. Tulum. Tulum. The terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they okay. I feel like, is there, we were discussing this last night and this is what I want. Is there, here's where I know what the status of your country is. Mm -hmm. Is there ice in your drink? Great. Is well, there? No. There's ice over there. There is? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yep. Okay. Yes. Uh, all right. All beverages served chilled. And you know what you would with love? With ice? Yep. You would love when you order a Red Bull there. Yeah. They give it to you with a glass. Yeah. They show it up at the table, pour it into the glass, and then they give you an orange slice. Game over, dude. Dude, absolute top changes tier. the game. Top tier, best Red Bulls I've ever really? had over there. Oh yeah, with, with orange, orange? slices. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, try it, dude. I know you're gonna have one today. Try it today. We went to oh yeah, uh, uh, which kind of a Red Bull? Straight, regular, regular Red Bull with an orange. Yeah, dude. If I went to, because I go, let me get a. Can I get a watermelon? I go watermelon or citrus Red Bull uh, on ice, mm -hmm. and they're like with vodka. I was like, no, just straight. Yeah. If I said, can I get a Red Bull with an orange? Yeah. That's like, this guy knows. Yeah. Because you you got to order something that's like fitting for the bar. Right. Right? You yes. can't be like, and you can't order something too, like. Like when we were at uh, we were at Red Door. Yeah. And we were trying to order a drink for somebody. For uh, and, Kendall. <laughs> yes, just for and Kendall. She, spicy margarita. He goes, that's, you got the wrong place. Yeah, we don't that's, do that here. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. And you don't want to, dude, this is a great topic because you don't want to under order. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to over order. Right. Ba but based on, and you can't have your order. Right. Because bars are different. 
Right. So you got to go in there and figure out if because a spicy margarita, you're like, oh, you're 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 doing you're bringing too much uh, New York down here. Yeah. We don't do that here. Yeah. But that's like her thing. Yeah. We don't put salt on rims here at Red Door, he sir. Goes, yeah. Uh, he sorry goes, about that. <laughs> even I go, do you know how to make that? He goes, no, even if I did, I wouldn't. Yeah. I was like, oh. It's like the most popular drink in town. He's yeah. like, absolutely not. He goes, not no, here. we're not doing that. We no. don't do that here. No. And I was like, yeah, because that's this is the rules of this. We place. do Coors Light. Here. Yeah, that's what we do. But sometimes you look around at the bar, like that bar that we went to. They go, oh, they don't have a. I can usually tell because they got a Red Bull fridge. Mm-hmm. Like at Whiskey Row, they got a Red Bull fridge. Right. They're like, oh, can I get? And you can usually see what flavors they have in there. Yeah, I haven't tried ordering with the. With the orange slice yeah. here, but I'm excited to. Now, I don't think you can go to Kid Rocks and ask for an orange slice. I don't think so either. Yeah, see, that'd be too much. You immediately get kicked out. Yeah. They, <laughs> they just like, go, oh, there's the magic words, yeah. and they pull a trap door. And, yeah. you, ah! and they vaccinate you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> yeah, you can't. Well, no, nah, they have a, they have the, if you order Red Bull, they have a, the um, the uh, energy drink in the gun, off the gun. Nice. Whatever that is. No, yeah. it's not good. It, oh, it's not a good one. No, there's a couple of them downtown. They don't have Red Bull in a can. They have the red. Oh. It's like Twisted Monkey or something it's like, like that. It's like we have Red Bull at home, and that's the Red Bull at home. Yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, we have Red Bull at home. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> but Albania was awesome. It was great, dude. Two what, weeks of the, unplugged. What's the, uh, what's the influencer place? What's, so what's the beach we spent a week in oh, the beaches i we, called that too yeah for Three sure zero to andrew bro gorgeous beaches oh, yeah. all the way down the west coast yeah um it's beautiful pretty much year round yeah and of course it is yeah i don't like, want to sell it too hard i don't want people yeah. going well i had a, I had a, when I, was, I played tennis in college and i had a teammate from croatia nice and we were all like we would all make jokes to him like oh dude you can't like drive there because there's like roadside bombs and stuff we were just being <laughs> terrible college yeah. kids in college that were terrible yep and then he's like we, he showed us some photos one time, and we were like, <laughs> wait. You thought he like had a rough upbringing? Yeah, we were like, wait, what? It yeah. was unbelievable. He's like, dude, he's, I hate it here. I want to yeah. go home. He's like, take us to Gold Corral again. Yeah. This sucks, dude. <laughs> $11 meal stipend. Yeah. Like, what the heck? This man? place is tough. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so anyways, it was uh, – but good listening to you guys while I was gone. Oh, yeah. Nice to take you Well, you probably and... feel the frustrations of, uh, like, uh, I think the title of last week's episode was Confident Wrongness. I loved it. Yeah. I because love it. Because Lydia also listens if she – Lydia's now on a boycott of the podcast. What? Because she says, I say things that are not accurate. <laughs> well, that's not accurate of her to say. Yeah, dude. She's like, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> Whatever. So dude. everybody tell her to write in, like the yeah, rest dude, of us. Tell her, yeah, everybody that's listening, they're like, dude, like sometimes I just go. That's the show. Yeah, that's the show. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, but like Lydia, when I was wearing this uh shirt, she goes, Really? She goes, You know why that's okay? Because you know. If you know yes. that you're you're fine. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's like one of the standing principles of this of podcast show. is like, yeah. we know. We know. So, okay. yeah. Like, like, just acknowledge it and we're good. Like, I see people on the internet that don't know. Yeah. And I go, man. Yeah. But if you know, you're fine. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Uh, that, if you that, know, you know. Look at that guy wearing the bowl cut. I can't believe he has that. He's a comedian. Oh. oh. It changes the whole thing. Got it. Oh, he knows. He's the man now. You know, you know what I was thinking this week? And this is not that we're, we're not pumping our own tires. And I take a very, 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 very small. But we have we have together, and I'm not the leader of this, but we have defeated a lot of things in, on this podcast. And again, hear me out. Yep. I didn't plan on talking about this. But when I first started comedy, my, my first video ever was called Christian Girl Instagram. I think I've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. It's, it was a, so back in 2015, there was, Instagram was just like in its infancy. Yep. There was a, so many Christian girls posting in the morning, a photo of their Bible opened to a verse with a, a purity ring of on course. Uh, highlighters, other Bible study books in the background, a fresh like cup of coffee that was like, like steaming mm. bowl of fruit sunrise like leaves that have fallen like just perfectly like designed i'm cozy already yes and and sometimes it was on the bed and i was like how did you get up how'd you put a ladder uh, so basically the video was making fun of girls that would just or like dude you read the bible for like two minutes this photo had to take 30 minutes yeah and like choosing a filter and making it all perfect so i made that video and again, I'm not taking I'm not taking full credit for it, but I made that video and I 
defeated it. It doesn't exist anymore. No one posts those photos anymore. No. And I'm not saying I'm the leader of it. Yeah. I'm not, but uh, but uh, no, I am for that for that one. Yeah. I we I defeated it. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Because it doesn't exist anymore. And I but like, there's a lot of things on this podcast. Like I feel like um, this the uh, the um, what's it called on Instagram when you post the status updates? Notes. We we defeated it. Do you know what I realized too? What you can mute people's notes. Yeah, you can. I realized yeah. that this week. But that's almost. But yeah, we beat it. Those are almost gone. Yeah. We are do, we're like threads. Yep. We didn't. I think we. That's still. I don't know what's happening with threads. Did but you see threads is showing up in feeds yeah, now? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Obnoxious. Anyways, yeah. But, it, but we. And I'm not taking credit for like li, free mini libraries. I'm not taking. There's a lot of things that we come out against on this podcast. And, and it, 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 we. I think we'll get there. There's a lot of things that we're just like. They are now. We came out against them and we beat them i would like to see a list though of things that we have defeated now we i'm not taking show. full credit no or like when like, i say we i mean yeah. like i but the collective but we've all has, teamed this, up. This, uh, this culture has defeated it yeah and i was a part that's all i want to say well then i want to say yeah i'm very thankful for your service yeah take and it, proud yeah. of you and like good for you and i think we are defeating no i think uh i think we are defeating and again i'm not the leader of it right but uh the tipping Yes. We're defeating it. Yes. You want to get into that video? Yeah. So th we have a nice little update here uh, from uh, Tipping Fatigue. Yeah. And we, are on, we are on the way. All right. So we've talked about from the beginning. I, I, I wasn't the first one to say it, but I go, tipping is nuts. Right. And everybody, I was like, you tip for everything. And by the way, I was at, um, oh, what's the gaming terminal place that with uh, you can play games? Pins. Pins. I was at Pins. So Pins doesn't have food or drink, but they have food trucks outside. Yep. So we went into Pins. This was this week. It went into pins and I bought like a lane, like a, a bowling lane, mm -hmm. not bowling because I hate bowling. Yeah. I'm my anti bowling. A, a pins lane. And it, she goes, it was 25, 30, and 35% tip default. Those are the options. Yes. Starting at that's 25. That's crazy, dude. And by the way, this is the girl that's like on the check in, not. Yeah, not, they, they not, can't bring you food. Yeah, they don't, they do don't serve. Food. They don't do any. Then I got a, went to the bar, got a drink for a couple of people in our group. I'm tipped there. Then I went out to the food truck and got a sandwich. I'm I'm I was 20 minutes. I'm three tips in. Yeah, three tips, three tipping opportunities in. Yep, which is crazy. And you haven't even sat down yet. Yeah, and I've tipped zero on all. Of them. <laughs> no, I tipped the guy that made me a sandwich. I tipped the guy that made me. A there sandwich. you go. All right, so. So we've been talking about this for forever. And yeah. people have been emailing in about the tipping. It's been gone crazy. I, I love this perspective. Listen to this. Anyone else in the service industry, please tell me what the f is going on this summer. Like, are people out of their COVID money? What is the deal? Because this is the least amount of money I have made in a very long time. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't understand. Like, are people less giving? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. my customer service personality has not changed. I'm just a little jokester. <laughs> and you're so nice to these people. And the tips come back and it's like 10%, 9%. <laughs> it's like, what, what's going on? What's going on? Yesterday, I was working with, like, our best looking server, little cute little college boy. So funny. He got a $2 tip on 30. And I'm like, I know mm -hmm. he did not do anything for those people and they were so nice what's going on i made 10 grand in two months last summer and i haven't even made six in three and a half this year what is this like normal or what um i'll tell you what's happening we don't want to tip anymore yeah we don't want to do it yep and i like it she said yeah, people are still nice yeah because we're still human mm -hmm. <laughs> and also she admitted that tipping could be based on appearance yeah, like, she, yeah, she I like just, that. She, she that just, just, just threw that. Just she wouldn't even try to hide that. She yeah. was actually, he was a good looking guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we I tip. That. This, it's also it's definitely tip fatigue. Yeah, like the if you go through the comments here, everybody's basically saying some form of we, if I'm asked to tip everywhere, I'm yeah. going to tip nowhere. Yeah, and then in addition, stuff has gotten more expensive. Like Stuff's prices expensive. of food have gone way through the roof. Yeah. It's like yeah. so it's tough on people. It's yeah, like a, and also you don't understand twenty percent is is on anything is a lot it's you know, a fifth of the bill dude you know like it, when they raise the taxes they're like we're gonna raise it by like 0.2 percent mm -hmm. like over the like the federal and it's like how many bill like 20 percent 
is so much. Yeah. I mean, the Lord only asks for 10, right? right? <laughs> Great point. Get him back on the mic, yes. dude. Yeah, he's back. Yeah. Yes. Andrew picks his spot. Yeah, he only dude. wants a 10th. And that's the Lord. Yeah. He's like, ah, dude, 10. Yeah. Dude, the Lord wants 10. Yep. And Stephanie wants 20. Yeah. Or, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Golden Corral <laughs> wants 20. 20. <laughs> Bro, you want 20? I like how she's saying, like, people are still, like, nice. And she's like, I'm still my cute, bubbly self. I'm like, yeah, good. You should be. <laughs> yeah. You should be. But the door guy asked for 20%. The bar asked for 20%. Probably the guy that we parked our car with is asking for 20%. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we probably were on the way over here. And Spotify was like, do you like that song? Here's 20%. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Do you know where they don't ask you to tip? Where? Europe. Oh, man. I didn't tip once over there. Really? It's really? discouraged. Whoa. You don't tip. Why not? They are paid an actual wage. Huh. They don't, wage. they don't view their servers as like, you need to make money on tips. They get paid to work, and then there are no tips. That's pretty sweet. Dang. I went to the, uh, where did I go? The uh, Troubadour. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Uh, it's like a golf course here in town. Yep, flex. Yep. Uh, somebody invited me, nice. and they were like, "We we are a no tipping facility." Mm. And I was like, I was a little uncomfortable with it. It is weird. It, it yeah, because but then they're like, "No, he's he's just." It's weird until you get over it. Then, yeah, then once you get like, used oh, to it, and you're like, "Oh, better. this is actually it's way better. better. It's yes. way better." Yeah, yeah, you're like, "Oh, he's you pay him." Yeah, it should, it should mean like yeah. they're taking care of their employees. Yeah. Hey, when you pull up your valet, and they forced me to valet, it wasn't. So don't be like, oh, John's in the valet. <laughs> I have a sleeveless flannel on right now. They're like, oh, you, f they force you to valet. There's no parking. There is no parking. Yeah. They force you to valet. And then he ran and got your car. You're like, oh, no, that's how the, that's, that's in the description of the job. Right. Run to get the car. Yep. For the guy. And then I was like, in, I couldn't, the guy came out with like a, dang it, dude, this is not going to go Here well. We go. Me. On 18, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they bring you out. There's a guy with a silver platter that brings you out a cold towel on the green. Nice, dude. Yeah. Are Very nice. Serious? I was invited to play there. I don't, I'm not a member there. It's Course Troubadour. Not. It's like an hour away from here. It's south. And they bring out a cold towel, and it was like, oh, this is nice. But then you couldn't <laughs> tip him. Dude, sweet. Yeah, it was awesome. That's it was unbelievable. Sick. Yeah. No tipping. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. We were uh, on the bird scooters going down to, I don't know where we were going. Do you like using the scooters? Yeah. Me too. I was in, in San Francisco yesterday. I took one for an hour. Nice. And it cost you $3.25. Yeah, it was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those, those, those things are unbelievable. I like how the bikes, they were like, everybody's like, bikes, mm, nah. too much. Walking, mm. not enough. They were like, and somebody made that. That's like the right, it's like uh, top golf. It's like, every, yeah, golf, too much. Putt, putt, not enough. Found the perfect middle, and they're like billion dollars. Yes. Billions. Yep. Because they're like the, the yeah. I don't know where we're going. The, those bird scooters are, you, when you're on them, you're having the best time of your life. You think you look awesome. But when you see one on them, you're like, oh, that's embarrassing. There's no way to look cool riding. That's embarrassing. At all. 100% <laughs> embarrassing. Because you can't like one hand it. No, you can't one hand it. You, you, know, can't, like, you can't uh, photo while you're on no. it. No. Yeah. We were on a bird scooter, pulled up to a light, waiting for the light. A guy alone walked across the street blind. Like he had his, he just closed his eyes? No, blind, blind well, he man. He is a blind but man. He is a blind man with the stick. Was alone and crossed the street. And Lydia was like, oh, I was like, no, 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 no. There's no more, there's no higher bravery. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared to walk across the street sighted. <laughs> Full sighted. sighted. I'm 20 up. I'm 2020. This dude pulled up with a stick. Like, I Bro, got this, yo. He, and he walked, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Walked across the set, and nobody, nobody was looking like, like, this is like, dude, this is bigger than like Christopher Columbus coming to America. <laughs> really? I couldn't get over it. I go, dude, that guy is walking across the street. <laughs> what did Why? The, did the thing make the sound? It must have. Like, chirp. Noise? I don't know how he would have, how he would have known to go. Yeah. He should he should mess with people too. Like as he's going across, he should be like, "So." Well, I looked. Yeah, I looked. <laughs> I looked for like a camera guy. Yeah, I was like, "Oh, this is one of those." Uh, I don't like when you see like a dollar on the ground. I go, "I'm not. Uh -uh, I'm not this has got to be tied to something or somebody." We're not. I'm yep. not. I'm not with this. I'm not with this at How all. How was his time, like compared to somebody with sight? Similar slower. crossing time, no, slower. slower. Okay. Yeah, because he had to get. Yeah, but he was feeling it out. Any struggles along the way, or was he just he's he across? was slow? Yeah. And I was like, this is like, dude, this is like, speaking of the 24-second clock, 
<laughs> this one's life or death. Yeah, dude. dude you got to make I it. I mean, dude, you don't got to get a shot off until the, by the shot clock expires. This is like the, the game clock. This is the life clock. Dude. Yeah. It's ticking. Mm-hmm. It's like Squid Games. I, <laughs> I thought it was unbelievable, <laughs> dude. I go, how is everybody not like this? Is, I mean, I, I'm, what's brave these days? What's a brave thing that people do? Talking about their past trauma. Sure. Uh, I don't know why Andrew laughs. <laughs> Andrew's just laughing at trauma. Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a brave thing that people like uh, celebrated for. Going to the moon. I don't know. Yep. Uh, trying to... Uh, going to war. Yeah. Going to resuscitating someone yep. that's at a... That, that, there's no... There's Seeing no, the Titanic. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. Going down on the... Titanic. Yeah. That's pretty brave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll go. He goes, I'm a... Cr- Where did this guy have to go? That he had to go blind across the street. He's by himself? At like five o'clock downtown there's no one with him no thank you yeah, like the I was journey like, this doesn't is insane end. The, the journey doesn't end when you cross the street no. either it's like okay you still can't see i, can't, I have not been th- i couldn't stop thinking about that guy i still not stop. i couldn't go like 10 seconds with wait my eyes so closed, he, think oh, about this God. your eyes are closed mm-hmm. there's a street mm-hmm. i'm gonna cross it yeah no <laughs> no dude. i'm gonna step off the curb <laughs> no i mean that what Dude, if I if I ever lost my sight, I'm going like, uh, what's the uncle's name or the grandfather's name? Grandpa Joe and Charlie yeah. and the Chocolate Factory. I'm yeah. just in bed for years. You're right. That's right. what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm I'll, in bed. I'll, and listen, and listen. Yeah. I still got and the listening. Yeah, I still got that one. Just strictly podcast. Listening and tasting. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> listening and tasting. Let's see. You can still. What are, What are the other ones? Yeah. He, like that's probably the gr- the Feel. greatest thing you can do. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's just out here crossing the street. Yeah. I wonder where he was going. I got so many questions. Where was he go? Where did he come from? Where was his? He's like, hey, where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Where did yeah. you go? Somebody's like, hey, you want to hand your car? He goes, no, nah, I'm good. I got it. Mm-hmm. You got it. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's dude. wild, dude. Respect for that guy, dude. Respect for that guy. Speaking of respect, oh, mud water, baby, mud water, a coffee alternative with four. Alex is gone, but I got this one now. You did a great job, by the way. Yeah. Mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs, baby, with only a fraction of the caffeine as a cup of coffee. You get the energy without the anxiety, jitters, or crash of coffee. Mud water, baby, get into it. Leans on mushrooms and the blend of matcha and their blend of chai for sustainable energy. That's what I need. I mean, I'm in a sleeveless all day, so I got energy. Right. This is obviously, I like, dude, what, what, what I got energy. Uh, each ingredient. Mud water is added for a purpose. Lion's mane, that's a mushroom for alertness. Cordyceps for helping a physical performance. Don't need that because I'm sleeveless. Mm-hmm. Changa and Risha to support your immune system. I need that because I am sleeveless. Uh, turmeric for soreness and cinnamon for antioxidants. Mud water, maybe 100%. USDA, organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified for the, Andrew? <laughs> Who's that? Who has kosher things? Uh, Jews? Yeah. <laughs> I love that you just left a blank just for him to say yeah. Jews. <laughs> That's yeah. wild, sure. dude. You know, he was there and he picked Andrew, it up. For the? Yeah. Yeah. For the Jewish people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude. That's what? What's wrong with that? No, Nothing. it's just a hilarious yeah, blank to leave. Yeah. It's an uh, unbelievable alley <laughs> <laughs> Mudwater. Mudwater. Believes the country's in a mental health <laughs> epidemic, and that is true, and sees mud water as a useful, I'm crying, dude, a useful tool for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental health experiences. Go to mudwater, M U D W T R dot com slash net positive to support the show and use code net positive 15 for 15% off, baby. That is more than the Lord. That is, yeah. Less than Stephanie, though. Right, fifteen percent off. It's a lot, is what we're saying. Yep, that's a lot of a lot of percentage off. Or hit the link in the description below, baby. Let's get to the news. <laughs> oh, we got it all. I'm dude. still laughing at <laughs> the blank you left. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Jewish. Well, that's like the uh, and the um, wine for communion. But if you're grape juice for the Baptists, mm. or so that's what. Yeah, we can go either way. <laughs> Uh, oh please! Oh, this is the, uh, that is that was just a list on my thing. Uh, we were at um, I don't know where we were at a, doing a show or something, and we were some, asking about somebody's rider. Yeah, and somebody had a uh, oh, where were we? 
we ordered some. Oh, we ordered some. Somebody had a talking about a brand of wine, mm -hmm. and somebody goes, "Oh, that's impossible to find because it's on so and so's like writer, like the so and so's artist writer." Yeah, dip a comic. No, not a comic. Musician? Like a performer. I don't know. Some, some, Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll it, yeah. I'm like, dude, that that. I feel like a, a lot of stuff, like high end stuff on your writer, is like kind of like there's no better word for it. But it's like cringe. Yeah. Like, did your ego is involved in the contract? Like, <laughs> you know what's on mine? A Red Bull and a Sharpie. Nice. That's it. A Red Bull and a Sharpie. You can add an orange slice now too. Now add Red Bull and a slice. Or yeah, yeah. Like, dude, he's like, go find me. <laughs> What? Yeah. Dude, this is an employee of the theater. You're going to send him on a scavenger hunt? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. How, what is your, is your ego? It was like some kind of, they were like, we need this kind of wine. I was listening to the story, like some artist needs this wine. I go, wait, we're still doing that? That's a weird thing to be very particular But the, you've about. heard a lot of that. Yeah. Look for up sure. like famous, look up like famous riders. There's like, like a R I D E R. Like, there's, I'm sure that you yeah, have certain celebrity riders of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. The 30 most absurd celebrity riders of all time. People ask me, okay. There we go. For Adele, it's very important that she receive one pack of Marlboro Lights. All right, that's pretty common. What's wrong with that? Wait, keep going. Two bottles of the best quality California red wine <laughs> and one bottle of the best quality California Sauvignon Blanc wine chilled. No Chardonnay. That's in quotes. How old is that's this? so. she still smokes cigs? That's cool. I hope she yeah, does. That's, that's fire. But also, but also, but hey, hey, hey. This hey. is from 2018. Okay. You know where Adele, dude, you know where Adele performs? Arenas. Arenas. Yeah. Yeah. You know how much, are, you're not walking out of there. Now you've got a lot of expenses. You're not walking out of there with less than seven figures mm -hmm. on an arena. Dude, bring the cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> what? Someone on your team can't yeah, grab it? Yeah, this is like a deflex. It's like embarrassing yeah. to go, oh, here's what, when I'm coming to town, here's what you need to go get. Like, I got, hey, you know what I'm leaving with? A brown bag of money. <laughs> you know, in like, in rush hour when they're trying to get the ransom, they bring a whole, they bring two duffel bags full of, that, that's what you're leaving with. Yeah. Get your own anything. <laughs> get anything. Yep. What are you doing? Here's another one. Here's Bieber. It says in 2010, his riders were simple. It was just lots of snack food. Yeah. Now, uh, then 2018, Bieber's riders include 10 luxury sedans, yeah. a massage table, table, and a private jet on standby for any of his travel desires. Okay. All right. You know how a rider works? It, they take it out of the cost of the show. So there's the cost of the show, and they're like, dude, we need a spotlight. All right, that's minus. And then the settlement is minus the things. Mm -hmm. What? And I think maybe before I got canceled, I had a, some stuff on there mm -hmm. that was like, but maybe like Swedish fish and like a vegetable tray. I mean, that's stuff you can get at a grocery store. Yeah, so bring it. Dude, bring, yeah. yeah, like here we go. Beyonce. Don't bring Coca-Cola products near Queen B. Oh, Beyonce. Yeah. She's in contract with Pepsi. Okay, I understand that. Yep. If it's a con well, not on the stage. Right. Also requested her hospitality, right? Heavily seasoned baked chicken legs. <laughs> i'll read on come on dude heavily seasoned you're boxing me in here baked dude. Box chicken legs come on. breasts and wings don't forget the hot sauce and as if performing didn't make her sweat beyonce likes the temperature in her dressing room to be set to 78 degrees at all time that's the craziest one to me 78, 78 is like borderline sauna yeah that's your 78 sweat. is hot yeah 78 is hot likes temperature in her dressing didn't and it said the pro oh she likes it seventy eight okay it, you know how hard it is to like to like make a dressing room in an arena a a a a, a temperature a temperature yeah it's impossible to, like the, I just thought of that and I go oh we're still like we're still like doing this <laughs> we're still do like you got the promoter rep has to go around town I know how this is. At the at, Z at, at Zany's, the the some an assistant has to go out and get all the stuff, mm -hmm. and the promoter rep somebody has to go out there. I understand one Gatorade ice caramel latte with two sweet and lows, one grande ice americano, two sweet and lows, and soy milk, and one slice of a pumpkin loaf. That's Taylor Swift. I don't know whether or not I would defend these artists. I don't know whether this is or is not true. Right, but the, it, as an example, like, and again, this is also five years ago. This twenty eighteen. Yeah, just. It's just like it's it's uh, it's the first time I ever thought I was like oh, what's your what's your boldest thing? 
I never had anything. Just nothing. I was just because you know what? I was happy to be out there, <laughs> thrilled. Yeah. And I was like, money. The, the, just yeah. Make I was like, the money. And I'll, I was like, dude, whatever. If we don't have a Chick Fil A here, some somebody go go. go we'll go. The camera guy will go run down there and grab it. Oh, we have like we have a lot of things on the production rider, mm-hmm. like lighting and uh, sound cues and uh, stage washes and all that stuff, but not on the me rider. Right. You're walking out of the hotel. Grab a Red Bull from the thing. Yeah. And if there's no lemon, just get a regular one. Yep. The sexy bag, Justin Timberlake. He requires someone to disinfect the doorknobs of any backstage venue or hotel he's in every two hours. Oh, man. Stop, dude. That's absurd. On top of that, it's necessary for him to have the elevator for himself for an entire floor of a hotel. I can see that one security-wise. That makes some sense. of some of these I can like sense for, for like like a, like Beyonce needs like a uh, like a golf cart to get yeah. Uh, Christina Aguilera was on this list. She yeah. said uh, police escort. That's not a rider. That's I'm talking about green room. Like yeah, in the back. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Just, okay, yeah. <laughs> Fruit tray, please. Thanks. All right, enough talking. About <laughs> yeah, that we're topic. out of this. Yeah, it's like, yeah, brutal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's get to the news. Who do you want to get to? Well, you know what I really want to get to, John. Oh, the same thing yeah. that I get to every morning to start my day. AG1, AG1. Baby. If you're listening on the Spotify, I'm flexing. Yes. Also, if you're watching, you probably can't see. I'm also flexing. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, too. AG1 has been a part of millions of mornings since 2010. I see AG1 commercials on uh, when I was watching. They're football. everywhere yeah, now. We out here. We're a part of starting it. We are. There you go. We're part of killing some things, and we're part of birthing some things. Mm. AG1, baby, it's a foundational nutritional supplement that delivers comprehensive nutrients for the whole body. AG1 replaces your multivitamin, probiotic, and more in one drinkable habit. Peace up to that copywriter. That's a brilliant line. One day serving gives me the comprehensive foundational nutrition I need and supports energy, focus, strength, and clarity with 75 high-quality vitamins, probiotics, and whole food-sourced ingredients. That's not whole food-sourced. It's not from whole foods. No, it's not. Whole food sourced, one word, yep. ingredients. Can't think of any other daily routine that pays off as well as AG1. Look at me, baby. Get on the YouTube, look at me, and you're like, man, something different about that guy. Mm. And it, I'll tell you what it is. It's AG1 and the Holy Spirit, uh, which is why I trust the product so much. Why take a bunch of different... I thought you were going to laugh at that, but you didn't. It's throw me <laughs> off a little bit, but I'm fine. Uh, why take a bunch of different ingredients when you can just mix one scoop of powder in water once a day, one scoop of powder mixed with water, once an AG1 gives you an increased energy, mood support. And as Joel Lillenstein says, give us money. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Make it easy to live your best life. <laughs> nice. Oh, if you're looking for a simple, effective investment for your health, try AG1. Um, get five free AG1 travel packs plus a free year supply of vitamin D. With your source, that actually comes free in uh, outside. You can get that. Uh, but it also <laughs> comes free in uh, one year supply with your purchase drink, ag1.com slash net positive. That's drink ag1.com slash net positive. Or hit the link in the episode description yep. below. Packed full of news. We got lots of news. We got a lot Where do you want of to go news. Here? Let's get to the, I like the, uh, the, the youth group chronicles guys. They're great. Gosh, dude. All right. There's a lot of people, do, the, a lot of people, I, I've, dude, I also put a stop to youth group impersonator content. Wow. Remember that? Oh yeah. It died. I, and again, I'm not taking youth credit for stuff. it. Yeah. Youth pastor bits, mm-hmm. like youth pastors after the Super Bowl, uh, youth pastors, and I've made those bits. For sure. I've made those bits also. But youth pa- like you, the youth pastor. They had a time. And it was fun. Yeah. We enjoyed it. Yeah. It was a good run. The youth pastor comedy, like youth pastors uh, watching a Doja Cat video, youth pastors uh, at the roller rink. The youth past. it's basically what a youth pastor is taking trendy things and trying to make them Christian. Yes. That's the bit, right? Yes. That's the bit. To the point of it becomes cringe. Yeah. Youth pastors in traffic. You know what I think about traffic? Everybody's headed in one direction and God says, get off the interstate. Yeah. I, I could do that. I could do. I, what's the joke? Right. What's the joke? We were playing golf and uh, there's a, there. So there's like a golf prank where, so, you know, if you've ever been in a golf uh, cart, there, your bag is strapped to the back. Mm-hmm. Get out of your golf cart, on, uh, grab the club. We're at the 
the guy played a prank on one of my buddies, unstrapped his bag. Mm. So he presses the gas. Bag flies out. Which golf clubs are expensive. Yeah. Two, three grand, four grand sometimes. On the pavement. It falls out. On this case, it was on the grass. Good. But I go, it's a joke. <laughs> Just inconvenience. me? What's the joke? Thanks, What's man. the... What, the I guy, hate, the I guy with the silver platter came running out of the woods. Yeah, I said, no, he, <laughs> he's like, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm like, dude, now he's just pick those yeah. up. <laughs> right away. Right away. Meet Mike. you at the next home. Yeah. I was like, and then he, and then there's like a, um, we, there's like a, there's a, under the, uh, um, seat of a golf cart, there's a, uh, a little thing where you, if you want to tow the golf cart, you kind of put it in neutral. There's a little button down there. Mm -hmm. So he, all of our, uh, all of our golf carts, he like puts them in neutral. Or like we can't go. And then he went to the next hole. And where all the golf carts didn't work. Make sure I never hang out with this guy. I was like. <laughs> I hate that stuff. What? I go, what? 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 Ugh. What's the, what, what? There's people behind us. Yeah. Trying to play. We came here to. And I'm fun. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I hit, dude. I'm fun. This what? is you're sounding like the the tipping I'm girl. Fun. It was like I'm an, I'm nice. What's like I don't get it. So bubbly. I'm a bubbly little character. I don't know. What what? <laughs> so then then the guy was like, oh, he might have switched to, and we like pulled the seat up and like flipped it back and then went. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I hate that stuff. What? What's the what? They're they're kind of like joke? dad jokes almost. Kind of. Where like, it's like all right. They're like in real life. Yeah. Like that. They're they're not they're not they're like physical dad jokes. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the same it's in the same ballpark to me as when we talked about like I order a fruity drink and it's like yeah. Yo, skirt come with that. Yeah. It's like it's yeah. the same thing. It's what, like what's right, the joke? You gotta do this. What's the joke? Right. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, but these guys, these I don't guys know, we got off track. Yeah. These guys, what's the title of podcast? Youth Group Chronicles. Youth Group is the Chronicles. Name of the show. And I believe I wanna say I, I they won I got a lot of great youth group stories. I think we I've either talked to them or seen a DM from them about about us me coming on their show or us coming on them coming on our podcast. Cool. Anyway, these guys are allies. I dude, I love They're, their content. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. come up on my feed. I don't know who they the are, but these guys are these guys are great. I they I see them on my feed all the time too. Yeah. This one, <laughs> all right. Basically, they, it's Youth Group Chronicles. They they have people on that tell stories about youth group. Yeah, it's right? a lot of like churchism type things. Like if you're yeah, in the culture, yeah, yeah. you know what it is or like can kind of get it. I, I play this one. Yeah. During a youth conference, the student pastor was leading a prayer moment and in reference to the Holy Spirit he asked the entire audience over and over again to say, fill me, daddy. No. <laughs> Here it goes. Daddy, please fill me. Oh. Let's not be scared. Let's pray it out loud. Daddy, please fill me. Don't let me. I want you. Why am I wearing the same thing as that guy? I was, I was, dude, he has a sleeveless pen on. He has a shirt Holy underneath it, though. Out. He didn't even say it like I am weak, bro. Oh my god. Oh. And, dude. First of all, you are wearing the same flannel as yeah, him. That's unbelievable. I can't believe that. He he didn't go no sleeves though. No. Yeah. Oh. But second. What are we doing? I'm what crying. are we doing? Pastor, excuse me, Wait, sir. A student pastor, is that the is that the adult? I think it's an adult, like a youth pastor, not a student. I think it's a... It's Did a, they say a it's student, a student pastor? He said a student pastor, but I think a student pastor is a youth pastor. Uh, I, I don't know. Is that what he said? Yes. He said student pastor? I think he said, but uh, but that's... Whatever. Youth yeah. pastor. Yeah. Yeah, regardless, nobody from a pulpit should ever no, say that. No, on a mic. No one on a mic. Yeah, yeah. No one on a mic should ever say that. <laughs> I like it. At the end, the guy goes, the tone didn't help him out. <laughs> yeah, no, he said, I want you. I want you. Okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> sometimes you see those, like, sometimes, speaking of, speaking of, does he know? Yeah. Speaking of, does he know? Okay, so we've gone back and forth on this show a bunch of like pastors that like, oh, they know. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I don't want any part of that. Right. Like, there's a, they were like, oh, they're doing it for like clicks and like the uh, the oil gun that you guys, the oil blicky. Yeah, yeah. That one. She knows. I think so. She knows the oil blicky's gonna get attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, knows, she knows that. There was a guy, they were like, oh, because like we talked about the guy on our podcast one time, and then everybody was like, oh yeah, that's so and so. He like does. This. I go, oh, never mind. Right. Oh, oh, you're that, you're that guy. Yeah. So like, there. have you seen a bunch of those like church, like look up, like, we got to get back to this because I want to, I want to yeah, talking about, but look up like, like 
innuendo church signs or something like that. Have you ever seen any of these? Yes. They were like, all right, d- like. Unintent- unintentionally sexual church signs. Yeah, that you're like, all right, do they? they okay. In your right <laughs> hand, there are pleasures forever. Psalm 1611. <laughs> Come on. When there is friction between two people, a smile is a good lubricant. A smile. What? This is old hickory. That might be here. <laughs> Skip that one. Oh. Well, uh, the most powerful position is on your knees. <laughs> yeah, like they know what they're doing. Yeah, I think. Gotta. Go, keep going. A four inch tongue can bring a six foot man to his knees. Come on. Oh my gosh, dude. This is wild. <laughs> Where are we? Abort, no. abort, abort. Okay. <laughs> no, but you go like, the, like, do they, uh, all right. You gotta know. No, all right. Well, this is the, this is, if they don't know, that is hilarious. Yeah. If they do know, you, you gotta lose your job. You gotta check his hard drive. That's what we gotta. <laughs> if, yeah, you gotta, the, the FBI's gotta pull up in the parking lot. Yes. Yeah. So that, so like, the does he know or don't doesn't know is like is the is the like Kid Rock like yeah. he knows he's like a caricature right but he knows mm-hmm. so it's fine yeah or it's not it's fine but it is what it is yes you can see it differently for sure yeah and you respect it yep if the, if, the, if you're if I don't he, respect him saying that from the stage in under any circumstances though. which guy this pastor saying daddy fill me that's no, 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 crazy no, no, that's i don't crazy. even like that no, 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 i just no, no, no. quoted that's yeah. like crazy oh, so dude cringe. i want you daddy i fill want me. you right after oh my gosh dude it's, what are you doing but but you but i was the guy in church that was like the first guy looking around yeah what are you doing like if everybody's in, this right yeah and then i go i'm hitting my buddy yeah like immediately grabbing my buddy in yeah. youth group i was the first guy to the like and then immediately after, I would be like outside of like, dude, did anyone else? I would be the I would be the leader of that. I think I'd walk out. Yeah, honestly, that's Daddy Phil. There's crazy. like seventy five names for God. Yeah. in the Bible. Yeah, just use one of them. Lord, Daddy. <laughs> how about Yahweh? Yeah, you know, Lord, fill me. Yahweh, fill me. Uh, there's you have hundreds of, of them. them. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> I've always felt weird whenever I've been in like services where pastors bring up daddy as one of God's pronouns. I, I think I because <laughs> it's like dog. They're like Andrew said, there's a lot of other words. There's a we lot of use other here. ones. You don't got to use. He would that probably one. prefer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets uncomfortable with that one. He's like, yeah. I see where you're trying to get. He to would probably point. prefer he him before. <laughs> no, nah, I shouldn't say that. But I mean, the, <laughs> no. daddy. He's like, hey, they don't like, yeah. No, 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 we, yeah. we lost that one in the 90s. Yeah, we, we stopped yeah, using for, that one. Yeah, yeah. Kids don't even say that to their actual dad. They better not. Yeah. <laughs> well, after, well, after age five. Five. <laughs> yeah. I remember I called my mom mommy and my buddies made fun of me. I was probably that, around that age. Then I go, okay. Around five? Never saying that again. Like that was <laughs> in the end of that. I was at the tennis court and I said, mommy. And then I don't know what, it was around that age. Yeah. And somebody goes, laughed yeah loser yeah and i go okay never doing that again yeah. and i never did it's social auto correcting yeah they're got like it. you're not gonna say that anymore and uh, they were like and i was like all right and that's some yeah i mean that is crazy dude daddy film me that's a lot so it, yeah if he does if he knows no because he can't come you, to this youth group anymore if you, you know can, yeah, you, and you don't say that that's the most disrespectful thing i've ever heard yes yeah right. you're making he a joke. better not know i don't uh, he I pray to God he doesn't know. Bro, he got the audience to do a call and response. Yeah, they were all, they were all, no, he can't know. He can't he know. He cannot know because all the audience was like, they were into it. Yep. Yeah. He can't know. He can't know. Anybody who no, he, has no, he social doesn't media. Know. He doesn't know. If you're in the audience and you're saying that, you can't. You can't know. You can't do that. You can't. You can't do that. This better be an 80 year old congregation. Because that's the only people who aren't going to know. <laughs> but there is, there is, I mean, bringing us. A, a, <laughs> This is a youth group. How do the kids not laugh? Dude. Somebody check that man's computer. There it is. Yes, and you said it. Somebody check that man's computer. Oh my oh goodness, my. dude. Not the audio. Jail expeditiously. Not the audio evidence. Yeah, he goes, somebody said it. And then he goes, oh no, I have it. Yeah. I have it. Yeah. No. That's great. Those guys are great. I'm all the way yeah. out on that one. Speaking of things that we're trying to end and then things we're trying to build, we like those guys. Yes. Yeah. Youth Group Chronicles. Good for them, dude. Just just doing the thing, just taking a different a different angle at it. Yep. And by the way, that 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 podcast will n- never run out of content. Never. Yeah. Never.
Yep. Beautiful. Well done. <laughs> and uh, great flannel. Okay. You found, let's go to our, our guy. Okay. Let's go to our boy, Benny Boy Rector. If you don't do everybody, does everyone, everybody knows Ben Rector. So right? I, I can say though, I don't really know his music. Really? Yeah. I just, you do, I know if you him, ever watch TV, you're I'm like, sure oh, that song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They always like, it's always, that's the disrespectful to say about an artist, but you're like, oh, when you, when they go to the commercials on college game day, but sure. like, he's like, that's not what I started out to make music right. for, <laughs> but yeah, sizable paychecks. Uh, he, anyway. I know him more so for his stuff that he does on TikTok. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. He's, I know. he's literally uh, hanging himself currently yeah. for after <laughs> everything he's done as an artist. You're like, oh, the TikTok guy? I know. I wish I would be out with him somewhere and somebody said, I know you from TikTok. I'm sorry, Ben. He was like, no, that, that's the nature of the business. Do you want business. me to say it to him when we see him and he'll just yeah. see if he passes the That's the nature the of the face. business. Uh, all right. I known him from, uh, Lydia's more into it because he's from Arkansas. Okay. And Lydia, we went to, we've been to probably three or four of his shows in the past Two years. Nice. And by the way, performs at, at, at amphitheaters. Yeah. You're like, who is this guy? I'm like, oh, I don't know. 17,000 people in Columbus, Ohio know him. Yeah. And they're all here. <laughs> and they know every word. Singing along. <laughs> so maybe you don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm wrong here, for sure. But listen, there, it, it, an artist can put it out an album, what, once every two years? Sure. 18 months, three years. In the meantime, you got a voice, you got the creative ability, and now you have... TikTok. TikTok. This is an unbelievable piece of content. Let's yep. play it. Uber Eats does not feel like a good deal anymore. It doesn't feel like a good deal anymore. Oh, <laughs> Uber Eats is not a good deal. Doesn't feel like it. Doesn't feel like it. Not anymore. Doesn't feel <laughs> like it. That's it. I got it. That's the tweet. <laughs> Uber Eats is not a good deal anymore. Yeah. And it's not. Yeah. It's all the, oh, by the way, it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the beginning. Shipping. I mean, you're not getting below 40, 40 bucks. Dude, it's hard. 40, 50 bucks. You go order lunch for yourself for like. Fourteen dollars is like the food cost. If you're going fast food, you can get it below there. Yep. But and if then, you're going a sandwich, if you're going it, yeah. Well, but then they go uh, the actual like fees, yeah. the shipping, driver, driver. Yeah. Now tip. it's it's thirty four dollars. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to, like, if they go, do you want it like ten minutes earlier? And you go, yeah, yeah I'm I hungry, do. So yeah, I yep. do want $2 .99, that. Two ninety nine. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Uber <laughs> Eats is not a good deal anymore. No. Uh, a couple comments on this. Uh, one. Um, Button up tucked into skinny jeans. Mm. Did you see that? I didn't catch that. Yeah, oh, I caught it. Most I definitely dad caught it. Of all time. Very dead. That's a sick outfit. With like just some Hoka running shoes yeah. on. Gangster, sure. dude. That's a gangster <laughs> move. Unbelievable. He goes, sing it out. I like that. Sing, sing it, it out was nice. Sing it out. Unbelievable. And mic drop. Yep. Drops the mic. That right. can't be the singing one. That's going to be a prop. Yeah, it's got to be. That. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be recorded. Yeah, and he's lip syncing and then he, it. Right? Got to be. Yeah. Unbelievable. Because he, and then I also want to point out, he overcame some crazy adversity in this too. He yeah. almost trips over the carpet here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Almost trips over. It flips up and he just keeps on going. Hell yeah. Aaron Rodgers could take some notes. Ooh. <laughs> shots fired. Let's go. Hey, you know what this is? Hmm. You know what this is right here? What? Art for the sake of making art. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it just it is. It's just, hey, uh, I'm off tour. I like, you know what I like to do? Well, when I was 10, I like to make this. Mm -hmm. This is the 2023 version of, hey, grab the uh, recorder. I like to do Mary Had a Little Lamb. Nice. That's, you're not trying to get views. Mm -hmm. You're just doing it because that's what you're, that's inside of you. Yeah. And that's why, that's why everybody loves you. Yeah. That's why every, now that's why everyone loves this kind of content because you, 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 it, it comes off as, yeah, I got it. Funny. It's real. And it's and like the more production you put into it makes it funnier. Yeah. <laughs> like that's yeah. what makes it yeah, like He produced that. No, he produced that. <laughs> like that's it might crazy. have taken a, a bit. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Shout out. Where do you want to go next? Shout out. Uh, let's go to Jimmy Fallon. Okay. What? How much time we got? I want to make sure we don't we get out of here on time. We're but, at... Uh, uh, oh, 50. Yeah, okay. We're good. Jimmy Fallon in the... I'm going to say news, but I'm going to put news in quotes mm -hmm. this week. Uh, he's, getting, he's getting Ellen DeGeneres. 
Yeah. Speaking of things we like to stop and things we like to, uh, I, I, before you even see this, I could not be the, I could not be a harder supporter of of Jimmy Fallon, okay. pro Jimmy Fallon. And I don't even have to say this while watching this video. Watch this video, and I'm sure everyone will be like, uh, will be on my side. A new bombshell about Jimmy Fallon and his toxic, erratic, and allegedly drunken behavior on Saturday okay, Night Show was just released. First of all, toxic and erratic is like I, we t we talked about this before the podcast. If you're gonna come with some allegations about anybody, your your job, uh, you have to say, unfortunately, you have to say something concrete. Mm -hmm. You have to say something concrete. You said my boss punched me in the face. Uh, Andrew's laughing, but doesn't want to laugh. And I That's don't know why I punch him in the face uh, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to say, you have to say, my boss said, "Oh, you look terrible in that outfit. Don't come to work." And also you have to show, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, you have to say, you can't say, um, I was emotionally fearful. I, it was a toxic work environment. You have to show why well toxic is a subjective very subjective it's i feel like uh, it is instead it, of it traumatic is subjective triggered subjective mm -hmm. All, anything you have to say something jimmy if you said jimmy fallon took out a knife in the kitchen and stabbed me yeah <laughs> uh jimmy fallon had the microphone and beat me over the head with it yeah I'm gonna all right, keep going. I would also add that uh I would describe his comedy as erratic. Yeah, yeah. That's I would describe he, Jimmy Fallon as erratic. That's who he is. Also, yeah. but before we gave him to do your boss your boss is not your friend. Fair. They're not. Yeah. We're we're here to make my I have employees, you have employees, Andrew is gonna have uh, people report to him. Yep. They're not they, we are friends. Yep. We I hope we all get along. Yep. But we're here for a, a purpose. Mm -hmm. And if you're uh, we're not we can be buddies. Yeah. I hope we are buddies. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. Yeah. You're, you're here to get a job done. Mm -hmm. And it's where, where if, if we don't make money, or this, this job doesn't exist. Yep. And that, that line gets blurred a little bit sometimes. We're all, uh, all right, keep watching. Do you want me to pause yeah. during or do you want me to wait till the end? You can pause during. Okay, keep That's going. That's fine. I ha and I haven't seen this whole thing yet, okay. so yeah, I'm, right. I'm excited to walk Just through it. read the whole story, so I'm going to break it down for you here. The Rolling Stone article features interviews with 16 former and current Tonight Show staffers. For starters, everyone on set of The Tonight Show recognized that there are good Jimmy Fallon days and bad Jimmy Fallon days. Pause. During one twenty seven. Everyone? <laughs> Every human? Everyone. Every human. Everyone realized Everybody. That. Yeah. Person. You have a good day and bad day. Everybody. Keep yep. going. Team rehearsal in particular, a bunch of staffers talked about a moment where Jimmy was possibly drunk in front of the audience. Pause. It was apparently so. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Every well, hasn't person been drunk on not national drunk, TV. Every person, every or, or not. Uh, uh, okay, and you, you also understand the stakes of this show. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, the Tonight Show, the New York City breaking news. It, it's every day. I'm trying to think a higher stress job. A higher, a more stressed job blind guy crossing the street blind guy crossing the street <laughs> for i was stressed watching yeah i mean this is in terms of workplace environment that's probably not going to be calm and chill and let me check on your mental health is going to be the tonight show also hey everybody everybody gather around everybody gather around this is not slavery any job i could probably be talked into the other the other perspective on this mm -hmm. every job is you can leave Mm -hmm. You can leave it. I'm not talking about it. Like I, st my boss was toxic for seven years. What? No, you can't. That no, you either can go somewhere else, or your boss can't be toxic for seven years. Yeah, I could be talked in the other perspective. That that might sound a little bit harsh for sure. That people are like, there's no other where to go. Or I couldn't get another job. Right. But or like, have you heard of Stockholm syndrome? And like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, Andrew. <laughs> I mean, good point. Yeah, and then, yeah. and then laughs. Yeah. <laughs> he just goes, "What losers suffer from that?" You know? Have you heard of Stockholm syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. All right, keep going. He's so bad to the point where Jimmy couldn't even remember things he had just done, and a lot of staffers thought that the series would be terminated right there. In fact, multiple okay, stop. If you, okay, stop, <laughs> stop, dude. If you thought the term the series was going to be terminated right there, go. That's when you put your application in. That's when you leave. That's when you leave. Yeah. If you're, I thought, dude, I could. 
I could debunk this article in four seconds. I'm, in I'm, four seconds. I'm laughing at the idea that maybe he's just doing bits this whole time. Yeah. And like he has this like alter ego bit that he does. Yeah. And everybody he works with just isn't funny. So they don't get it. They're like, what? what, what? Yeah. That's, <laughs> it, it, like, like, well, sometimes you get good Jimmy. Sometimes you get bad Jimmy. And yeah. he's like. Yeah, yeah, bad Jimmy's the bit. Like, yeah, that's, that's a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's a. <laughs> He's like, I'm referencing Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, that's I was doing an impression. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, and and this actually, you know what is also true about this? This makes this makes me call into question the Ellen DeGeneres stuff too. Sure. They're like, oh, okay, 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 okay. Hey, wait. I don't know the details. Of I don't that, know. But... I don't either. But like, oh, so you're just you just employee there, and you didn't like it, and it's like all the church deconstructionists. Oh, mm. you worked there for 15 years. Now you don't work there anymore, and you're like, mm -hmm. okay, uh, all right. What, what did we just? Oh, they thought the the show was going to be ended at any time. No, you didn't, because it's the Tonight Show, and it's been around as long as you've been alive, and as long as I've been alive. Yeah, they would have just got rid of Jimmy if that wasn't working. Yeah, not the Tonight Show. Yeah, and you would have had your job. It's had a million hosts. Yeah, keep going. Louise claimed to have smelled alcohol on Jimmy's breath several times while at work. No problem. The series had Lit. nine different show runs. Hold on, pause. <laughs> My, hey, hey. <laughs> Sounds pretty savage, oh, Jimmy. Hey, hey, let me check. Let me check. Oh, the uh, comedian. <laughs> oh, he's a comedian. Oh, he's a comedian. Oh, so every comedian? Every comedian at work? <laughs> Have you ever seen a comedy show? You know what's on the stool? Alcohol. Yeah. They drink alcohol. It's funnier. <laughs> no problem. I got no problem so far. Because for some reason, you don't really think of Jimmy Fallon as a comic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, oh, you, yeah, the true. whole thing is comedy. Yeah. I don't really watch The Tonight Show, but the it's whole comedy. point is... Now, funny, if you smelled right? alcohol in Lester Holt's breath, you might be like, hey, yeah, this, this is Lester the news. Holtz. That's like the nightly news guy. Oh, yeah. I watch it because it comes on after Lydia on NBC. Nice. Lester, I don't know. It's like nice. the <laughs> Tim Brokaw, Tom Brokaw. Sure. Uh, I don't know, whoever does the news. Yeah. Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. No. Yeah. Well, maybe. We he's he's, he's, he's breath, a couple though. zins deep, dude. Tucker. <laughs> hey, yeah, see, Tucker's on the zinnies. Okay, keep going. Last nine years, which is pretty unheard of. And they, along with Jim. Tucker Carlson. Carlson. Yeah, nice. <laughs> dude, worth the pause. They belittle and intimidate employees. They said Jimmy would often stop. Have out. Stop. Stop, dude. Belittle and intimidate employees? <laughs> Grow up, dude. Hey, I need that on my, I need the, the bit. I need I need it in the teleprompter. Oh, he's <laughs> he's blowing only intimidate. No, he, no, it, the show go we the, we film at four thirty. It's a stressful work, so we need it. Yeah, we need it. Do better. Any like do better. Any like nightly uh like nightly entertainment this is news studio settings like all of that yeah. is going to be the most especially in New York. It's high stress. That's the highest it's stress high jobs stress. in entertainment. Yes, either get with it or get out. Get out. Keep going burst as well and people would often complain to hr it was allegedly so awful that the celebrity dressing rooms were often referred to as the crying rooms i'll call it, i'll call a pause go. uh before you go or i'll go you, you go, go you go no, you go, go, no, you, go. No, you go you go no you go yeah dude celebrity <laughs> these are the how are you not embarrassed dude are you not in i'm not even trying to, it's so embarrassing for an adult to say, I got to go into the cry room because my boss has made me. This is so embarrassing. And they're anonymous. They're not all the sources yeah. are anonymous because, uh, of course, they are. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Whenever anybody tried to cancel me, uh, anonymous. Oh, we're, I'm sure they are anonymous because they don't want to, for fear of what? The crying rooms. The, dude. For, for fear of being made fun of. It's like me saying, mommy. Mm -hmm. That's this person. Yeah. For fear of, it, yes, you should be. I don't want to say shamed because, of, but that's embarrassing. Yeah. They were known as the cry. Imagine going in there. I have to go in here and cry. Get, get out, leave, please. Leave. Not a good environment for you. Look out <laughs> no, for yourself. Dude, leave. Go get out like, of here. Like even if throw all the Gosh, shame. Gosh, I wish not I could a good say this louder, leave. but yeah, keep going. <laughs> that go. I was going to, I was going to say, my bad. went to H, everything went to HR, countless yeah. reports to HR. Okay. HR never did anything. Yeah. So it, I mean, do we trust the system? If we trust the system, it probably yeah. wasn't uh, yeah. that big a deal yeah. then. Now, what are they trying to... Now, if... if Okay, this all research, the Rolling Stone put their guy on it, yeah. and they did all this research. That's It's like me. But, like, they did all this research, right. like, and you have... Sexting? <laughs> well, okay, if you did... If any... If you did all the research, and this is the bombshell... Yeah. Get out! Yeah. Don't. Pa it's. It, it, it's I'm waiting. Going. I'm waiting for it to get bad. Yeah, that's, that's a, essentially yeah, where I'm at. Like, yeah, where's the? Yeah, make it bad. Basically, that's where staffers would go to cry when they were mistreated. <laughs> Christina Dolly, the author of this piece, reached out to 80 current and former staffers in total. Not a single person had a positive thing to say about working on the Tonight Show. Pause. I, don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Pause. 
you reached out to 80. And these are former, these are like ex-girlfriends. Mm -hmm. We reached out to all ex-girlfriends. You did say former and current. I do okay. want to say that, but yes, keep going. Well, it, uh, hey, you know what you're writing a story about? Jimmy found toxic behavior. Yeah, I had no comment. Yeah. The people that work there, I'm good. I don't want to put anything into this. I don't want to put my name in. Even if I said, I love Jimmy Fallon. He's a great boss. Well, that, it's like every documentary. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not including that. I also wonder if they cherry picked the current and they only used current employees that they knew already were disgruntled. What's the guy? We talked about that with the Hillsong pastor, uh -huh. Carl Lentz. It goes, uh, yeah, I don't know. I went to Hillsong and I thought he was attractive and I DM'd him and we like had a little uh, mutual like flirty conversation and then I forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not including that. We need you to be traumatized and we need you to be in <laughs> therapy for the rest or just make that up. Yeah. At least make it up. Or I, I can't even look at a cross anymore without that. That's the comment we need. Yeah. 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 Give also, us a soundbite. You reached out to 80 and this is what you got. Yeah. That's embarrassing for this Rolling Stone. It's embarrassing for Rolling Stone. Yeah. You reach out to 80 and this is what you got. You couldn't find something. Okay. Really I have PTSD from this. Yeah. From my own story. Keep going. Though several did praise Jimmy for his general comedic and hosting talents. Okay, so okay. so not what you said. Okay, not what you said. <laughs> so different. Praised him for a comedic and hosting talent. So doing his job. Didn't have so, one positive thing to say. However, a lot of them did praise him for his comedic and hosting <laughs> talents. Which is, hey, so, hey, if you're like looking at the uh, the uh, job description for the Tonight Show, uh, hosting abilities and comedic talents. Those are the two. <laughs> Those are the two things. Check and check. I've already you're spent in. way too much time on this article, but yeah. I'm so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. 16 of those staffers agreed to go on the record as long as their names weren't attached in fear of retaliation. Okay, and embarrassing. First of all, it, retaliation for what? 16 of 80, by the way. Yeah. In fear of what? Retaliation. Losing your job? You should. You should. You should. Mm -hmm. You should absolutely lose your job. And then if I'm going into the... Uh, <laughs> if I'm going into the gym or the deli or wherever, I was like, dude, aren't you the, aren't you the cry room guy? <laughs> Are you the freaking... <laughs> Are you the cry room guy? Yeah, I would want to be anonymous too. Are you the cry room guy? Dude, I know you. Fry, where are you the night show? No, 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 you're the cry. <laughs> it's crazy to think too that like the this is bigger than just this one instance. Yeah, yeah. Like all it takes is one of those sources to yeah. say like, oh yeah, they were called the cry rooms. Yeah. And then they can run with that. Yeah. They, they might be it. the only person who they calls them the, the cry, cry rooms. rooms. Yeah, probably for one. Yeah, that's it. And you're like, oh, I got one. Right. I got one. Yeah. That's crazy that these people are like, it, what what I like about this podcast is they're so emboldened. They think that they're right. Yeah. They think that they're right. Like when I was in San Francisco. Uh, was, the cry room of America. Pretty close. Everybody's doing fentanyl yeah. on the streets. It, it like act, I've never seen drug usage. I've seen. That's hard drug usage right there. I've seen uh, one time I saw somebody passing around some pills. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was. And then I've seen. Have you ever seen cocaine? In what circumstance? Parties. Yeah, and they were like d doing cocaine. Yeah. All right. I, I don't think I ever have. I've seen weed and smelled weed. I've seen – they were doing fentanyl, which is like – they have these like blowtorch little lighters. Mm -hmm. It's like shh, like – and then everyone was getting mad at me for like videoing it. Not videoing it, but I was like walking down the street like documenting it. Mm -hmm. I was like – you're doing fentanyl on the street. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, like, this guy had an open flame with kerosene, like camping on the street. And I'm, I'm walking. I'm like, dude, you're doing fentanyl outside of a Panera. Unnecessary embarrassment. Yeah. You, why you am shouldn't I? shouldn't be embarrassed. Why am I carrying that? They were like very, and I get it. Like, you don't want to exploit anybody. Sure. I understand that. And I'm, I was making a video uh, details and that'll come out later. Yeah. But it's like, oh, you were like, oh, I'm embarrassed. Like, wait, wait, I'm walking on the sidewalk and the guy has a kerosene and, and is on, fentanyl with his pants down yeah and he's like dude you don't belong here no <laughs> you don't belong here dude this is a street yeah i'm going to i'm going to get a grilled cheese sandwich this is a bus stop where people are going to work yeah wow the, <laughs> like the idea that these people were like i'm gonna go on record about jimmy fallon that they were so emboldened yeah with this F keep going in a statement from NBC, they claimed that action had been taken in the past when necessary to address certain complaints. Okay, they pause. Mention HR goes, yeah, we've heard it, yeah. and action has been taken. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Anything specific about Jimmy Fallon himself. In fact, a lot of Pause. They didn't name anything specific about Jimmy Fallon himself. Yeah, obviously. That's not their job. Not their job. Have the work atmosphere with him, like walking on eggshells. Okay, uh, uh, okay, pause. So, uh, so a boss? 
So a yeah. boss? Yeah. Yeah. You have things to do and then you have things to do and deadlines to do them. So if you don't do them, that I understand that there's probably healthier work environments. For sure. For sure. For sure. That, that's the point that I think I'm trying to make is like, but we're already inherently yeah. this work environment sucks. Yeah. It, and it has like, before we even factor we don't know in that, Jimmy but Fallon. We don't know that, but, but no, oh, we, we oh, just, just know it's stressful to work level. there. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, like yes, working yes. in media yes. in New York city in late night. Yeah. That is stressful as can yeah. be. That is the top. So already it's the top. Yeah. Already it sucks. Also. Yeah. If you're, then if you're, if you're at the, you're, you're, you're competing at, uh, you play, um, uh, you play rec league basketball mm -hmm. there's no score the the nets are lower there's no referees you can double dribble hey middle school time all right there's a little bit more order here hey high school time now we're talking about money and we're talking about uh there could be scholarships on the line and the coaches and playing time mm -hmm. uh now you got a scholarship to go uh play in college and then you got uh your junior college and now you're division one now you get to the you get to the nba it's stressful. Yeah. Cause you know why? Cause it's a this is the top. It's it's part of the cost of playing the game there. When I would play it in middle school, it wasn't this stressful. Well, now it is because mm -hmm. this is everybody wants to do this. Yeah. Everybody wants to do it and it's the very top. Yep. And if you I'm, the mental is part of the game. Yeah. That's like part if of you it. can't handle that, then you it shows you why those guys who do it at that level are so special. Are at the top. Yeah. Anyways. Keep going. Do also, also, it. pause. He goes, We have a we have a bombshell article. Where's the bomb? I know. Waiting for the bomb. Hissy fit. It was reportedly so bad that some staffers literally had anxiety attacks and had to seek therapy because of certain work experiences. Stop. Also Quit your job. Leave your job. <laughs> I'm sorry. No more sympathy. No more sympathy. Quit your job. Quit your job. Move home with your parents. Sorry. Move home with your parents. It's embarrassing, dude. It's so embarrassing. They've had anxiety attacks. And Keep going. Also common for Jimmy Fallon to negatively call out staffers both in public and in private. He okay, a job. Send emails to people to say they were doing a bad job. A job. He also reprimand people in public. There was one instance when he scolded a crew member in front of Jerry Seinfeld during a sketch, and it was allegedly so uncomfortable that Jerry Seinfeld even stepped in to make Jimmy apologize to them. On other occasions, okay. one former showrunner in particular would make inappropriate comments about employees. Some comments were about a black employee's hair, and others were about how much food certain people would eat. In all, many talked about power trips and intimidation Pause. tactics still waiting for the bombshell have you heard it no i haven't heard it either those are things that aren't great yeah no no and should be <laughs> and should be reprimanded but yeah, like you can't do that probably shouldn't call out if you want the best of your employees you probably shouldn't call them out in public actually yeah sometimes the show's public Jim yeah I, called just, out. I, I don't think call, uh, calling people out in public I, I wouldn't do it yeah among the higher ups. And that included HR, who would allegedly forward all complaints directly to managers. This would obviously contribute to the unsafe work environment and make it difficult for staffers to want to be open and honest. No one knows what the future of The Tonight Show actually looks like, both because of this behavior and the current writer's strike, which has prevented the show from returning to air. But I guess only time will tell. The, well, hold on. This is It's not return to air because of the strike. It has nothing to do with this. There's no way, right? Zero. Yeah. It's Zero. Because of the strike. It's because of the strike. And also, no one else is on air, too. It was a waste of time. That, that, that whole article's a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> that whole article's a waste <laughs> of time. 15 minutes of the show. <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting show. for yeah. start Something. Stop. Uh, okay, I don't, I, don't know, I, I don't know Jimmy Fallon. Me neither. Uh, I know that, he, I know that uh, he's done a tremendous, tremendous amount for our good buddy, Nate Bargatze. Awesome. Yeah, he's been on that show a million times. Great, and he's he's he, he doesn't have a career because of him, but uh, you know he would I bet he would credit him for a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, and he's done a lot of and he's done a tremendous amount for a lot of comedians. Yeah, they would have been on the Tonight Show and has changed their career, not as much as it used to, but Jimmy Fallon has done a lot for a lot of people. Have you heard he's pleasant to interact with? I heard he. I've heard that he likes to party. Cool. Same. Same. Yeah. He likes to have a good time. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I got no problem with this. I've got a problem with this article, obviously. Yeah. Unbelievable, dude. That gets me fired up. Yeah. <laughs> There's a cry. Uh, uh, imagine like put like imagine telling someone that. <laughs> Are you not embarrassed? Yeah, so today I was coming out of the cry room and shout uh, <laughs> out Sebastian Maniscalco. Are you not embarrassed to yeah. admit that? Fired up, dude. You know what else gets me fired up? Man Manscape, baby. The got performance it. package 4.0. I got to shave my armpits because I was coming out sleeveless. Nice. Oh, yeah, got to. I had to skate myself up, baby. Support for Net Positive is brought to you by Manscaped. 
the best in men's grooming, baby. Their products are precision engineered tools. Performance package is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Join over 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code net positive. I just used it this morning. Dude, I lost my bags coming home. You did? Yeah, two of our bags. We got one of them back. Yeah. The other one's still MIA. Scaped but what I was there. most concerned about was losing my Manscaped stuff. Yeah. It was dude. in my luggage and I was have. kicking myself because I was like, I that's- It's gone. I need that. We'll get you a new one. Need that in my you life. Gotta have I got one. it back. Yeah, you got it. Did you? Got it back. Thank yeah. God. Showed up yesterday. I don't, I don't have any hair on my chest. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Andrew? Yeah. I don't know what I can't grow any. Anyways. I don't need. I don't need. I don't need that. No, I don't need the manscape for my chest because I can't grow any hair on my chest. Uh, Performance package 4.0 has arrived, and oh, it is a game changer. Inside mm-hmm. this package, you'll find the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, ear, and nose, and hair trimmer, crop preserver, crop reviver, performance boxer briefs, dang, and a travel bag to hold all your goodies, dude. Get into it. You thought that was good. You want to take your grooming game even further. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Weed Whacker Nose Ear Hair Trimmer. I got it all, baby. I got it all. Uh, 20% off and free shipping. 20%, as we have discussed, Stephanie's minimum demand. Mm -hmm. 20% savings, though. Right. Unbelievable. Other side. That's a lot of savings. Yeah. 20% tip is a lot. 20% to save is a lot. Plus, free shipping with the code NETPOSITIVE at manscaped.com. Uh, 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped. Use the code net positive or hit the link in the episode description below. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Boom. Got it. Should we hit one more and then go to the emails? Yes. Let's, let's do go it. To, what do you uh, want? Uh, Pick a topic, I'll, any I'll topic. Do, dude, I want to do the, uh, uh, the, the single lady. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Credit. This is Alex. Alex brought this one in. I had a lot of scrolling time overseas. Oh, yeah. And, oh, no, uh, how, how long were those flights? Phew, the flight back was 11 hours, dude. dude. 11. It's 25 hours of travel total. Gosh, that is so a lot this of one, uh, this one came up okay, on my pause, feed. Pause, pause, pause. Hold gonna, on. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can. All right. This is, okay. It's a single ladies retreat with wedding gowns. Every woman there. Praying woman there for a saying, life partner before the end of this year. Okay, pause. Everyone, it's Instagram, I can't. Oh yeah, every okay, every girl comes to this retreat in a wedding dress. Mm-hmm. Correct? Yep. Wearing her wedding dress and they're all uh I, they're gathering together to pray for life partners. For 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 husbands. Yes. I don't know why I said life partners. Okay. It says life partners. Okay. So like, okay. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so they must they I don't must, know how they progressive be they are. Inclusive. Sure. Okay. Single ladies retreats with wedding gowns praying for life partners before the end of this before the end of this year. Mm. Dang, God, they're Clock's like, ticking. hey, Lord, Daddy. Hey. <laughs> oh, I don't want to Daddy, call. can you yeah. bring me a Dad, life partner? Can you bring me a life partner? Okay. Where are the men praying for wives? <laughs> <laughs> nice comment, dude. I can never be, uh, I can never they're be whiskey this row. desperate. <laughs> I can never be this desperate. Um, I'm not sure about the, I'm not sure how I feel about this. If Paul saw this, yeah, I talked about that all the time. <laughs> marriage is not the highest calling and i'm engaged if it was jesus would have been married kingdom focused ladies mm. kingdom focused dang okay that's if a they, bar if they knew jesus they'd have found out about this piece these women who are missing the rib Ooh, you can pray for a husband without wearing your wedding dress <laughs> <laughs> what breaks my heart is that these are, okay all right so these are can you play the audio it's just a worship service it's just right? music it's just music. Yeah. i'm not gonna do it all right so they're all these are all women in wedding dresses pr- uh, praying and singing mm-hmm. All right, so those are those. They're one guy filming. The one guy there is filming. He's like, "Yeah, this is crazy, dude. dude this is crazy. Yeah. This is crazy, dude." It, 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 all right, I don't think I don't want to like I don't want to throw shade on them gathering and praying. I do that. I'm is, just kidding. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. I was like, "Oh, okay." No, no I don't. I don't. Because that's what yeah. you should do. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. But I I don't know, man. This is not. And if you if you said helping, if you. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what I need? We need to check back in January first and oh, say, yeah. "All right, what was the conversion rate on yeah. this? Who's it? Yeah. How many of you got hitched?" Yeah, that's what I said. I went to that that church service and I, they, they were coming forward for people to for healing, mm-hmm. for healing, for physical ailments. Right. I go, uh, I'm not. 
lack of faith guy, like that the, when Jesus was like raised from the dead, he's like, I need to see the scar. I, I, I'm going to go, Did it, is anyone healed? Right. I don't know how else to say that. Right. There's, I saw no less than 500 people being prayed for, for physical healing. I, I was there. I also just have a hard time with the whole, like some of these comments are saying, like how they're like, dude, it's, it's not all about getting yeah. married. Yeah. Like that's yeah. not everything. That's not everybody's calling. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Or, or you don't have to find somebody and get married. Like that might just yeah. not be in your cards. And granted I've been married for, you know, six years. So right. like easy yeah. for me to say, but sure. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like the that, pros, this is like the, the, the like relationship prosperity gospel. Yes. Dude. Yeah. It's like nice. praying for us, like praying for like a, like a Porsche. Yes. I was like, all right, well, the, if you're praying for this, yeah, that's the problem. Well, you should pray specifically. And, 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 and if you say, I would like, I would like to be married. Yep. I can, I can, I'm on board with that for sure. Praying for that. Uh, praying for I your friends, praying for that. Yeah, praying for, sure. for your future spouse, or yep. praying for. I, I'm, I'm with that. Yep, I'm of course with that. But you're like wearing a wedding dress. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, these are all. They, <laughs> it's like this is like the, this is like the relationship. Name it and claim it. <laughs> it is. Explain that. Name it. You know what name it and claim it is. No. That's like a, that's a prosperity gospel. That's their slogan. Name oh, it, name it and claim it. Be like, I, 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 it's the Christian speak it into existence. Yeah, it's a Christian manifesting. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Name nice. it and claim it. This is the this is relationship. Name it and claim it. Name it and I'm, claim it. I'm gonna. I I speak uh, a new job into existence. I speak uh, my health into existence. I I, imbr- I I in faith I've named it and claimed. I've already claimed my <laughs> healing. Uh, dude, wearing the wedding dresses. <laughs> the dude filming is so funny. I didn't notice him. <laughs> All right. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen like, I'm going to go on record and say, I've done this, that you like, you like someone. I can, I know someone in my head that I'm thinking about right now. You like someone you would like to, I'll just say this as generally as possible. Obviously I'm in a relationship now, but could, would like, would consider them to be a mate or partner or future, not a mate. Like you want to hook up with them, like a, like a, like a. Spouse. Somebody you look at and you go, yeah, I could yeah. see that happening. And then that see yeah. their socials and go, oh, never mind. Oh, for sure. Right? For sure. F- f- yes. I met a girl. This is probably back in 2016. Yeah. And I and I we and I I perused her socials. I go, oh, never mind. Yeah. If you and I see a lot of these people that are like outspoken on the internet and are also like uh single. I'm not saying outspoken, like I'm outspoken. Sure. And if it, active, is that I probably word? annoy a lot of people and that's fine. Is that what you mean? Act, like they're just active on there? Just very like, like Twitter, like very like. Doing I go, a lot. If, if, if doing the most, yeah, doing yeah, yeah. the most. Got it. And I go, if you were a man, but it'll go, it'll go the opposite way. If you're a woman looking for a man and a man looking for a woman, mm-hmm. if you saw this, mm-hmm. you'd be like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I've talked about that before on this podcast mm-hmm. or somebody like, uh, I'm not saying it's like somebody, there was the girl that was like bashing her ex. Remember that? Yeah. Bashing them. And I go, I'm good. Yep. Because that could be me. Yeah. That could be me one day. I'm, I'm out. Right. I'm out. And for that reason, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you were interested in a girl and you like went to her tagged photos and saw this oh wow dude, oh man i'm out immediately you feel Bro. like the game's fixed you feel like wait a second oh i'm out yeah i'm out i would say if a girl said i've been i've been it's great to finally meet you i've been praying for you for years i'm good i'm out i'm out yeah I'm out. that's a whole christian thing man i got I'm a out. big issue with that the whole just the whole like glorification in of within marriage. the church of marriage yeah. and like if you're not Dude, there were women in my church that were like in their early 30s where yeah, I'm yeah, at now. Yeah, yeah. And like not married and they're like weren't married and everybody's like, oh my gosh, have you heard about someone? Like, I don't know. I'm just hoping God like brings somebody. And they're like, side please, like, like, please bring a guy. And then the it's women like, dude, she's got other stuff to do. Yeah. Or like, and then they did, did the lower their standards to these guys that are zeros. Yeah. Zeros. Or dive into it at 19 and a half. Yeah. Just so and we go, this can guy's get married. Bad, this guy because everybody has told you you're worthless. I know a handful of girls who are like 24 years yeah. old and already divorced think about so that. do i so do i that's so do crazy I. that's crazy or like but i think if you have you get a little bit more uh the bigger the bigger the town you're in the more years you get mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. of of singleness for before sure. 
you get kind of judged. Yeah, that's yeah, that chart would be directly correlated to the size. Larger of the, town, more yeah. time. If you're in New you. York City, you're forty. Yeah, dude. If, no problem. Get married at fifty. You probably whatever. still got roommates. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Seven hundred fifty square feet. video games. Yeah. If you're from Snellville, Georgia, mm -hmm. or I grew up, if you're twenty four, might as well yeah. old mate. Dude. You got to go to the retreat. And I'm saying, guys, men and women. Yeah. But that's crazy. Dude. Yeah, dude. I, I, that's crazy. <laughs> the girl should come in there, shoot him with the with the blicky, bro. <laughs> The, not the oil, not a, not a cut. The oil blicky. Yeah, yeah, the oil blicky. Yeah, yeah. And anoint them. Yeah. Maybe that's the problem. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine what they're talking about in there. Yeah. You want to get us some emails? Yeah. What do we got here? We got wrap a couple. Wrap it up. Dude. We got a couple We got a couple and then we'll wrap we it out up. of here. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, so one of them um, was talking about you guys uh, were exploring when to intervene. Oh, yeah. We talked about that last week. All right. So when, what did I start? I was going to fight somebody or something. Oh, the guy downtown with the yeah. truck. Yeah. By go. the way, dude. Yeah. What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I know. I should pull back around for that guy. Yeah. Do you know what I was thinking about? I think him. you forgot one part of the planning, which what? was if you pulled up on him. Yeah. You walk up to the truck. Yeah. He's up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you going to knock on the? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Can you roll down the window, please? Come here. Can I have hey, a word with you, please? Hey, man. You're already up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nate has a bit about that about uh, when he's on the boat and his his wife goes, "Hey, that's my ex boyfriend on that other boat. You want to go fight him?" He's like, "All right, I, I got to swim over there." <laughs> Somebody's got to help me up, I, and I have a life jacket on. He goes, "I'm done." Yeah, I'm done. Well, You're out of breath. Yeah, how am I gonna get there? Yeah, can somebody? Pull? Yeah, because <laughs> his truck was hot. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, well, glad you avoided it. When to intervene? Here, you want to read this? Here one? it is. Yeah, sure. Two podcasts ago, I heard you and Andrew talking about when it is appropriate to intervene in a situation. It made me think yeah. of a story my friend told me about her and her boyfriend uh, intervening. They were in college and now Austin, husband, now husband, now husband. Sorry, important. yeah. Uh, they were in college in Austin, Texas, and were taking the bus back home from being out in downtown Austin for the night. Okay. They noticed a group of guys get onto the bus that seemed a bit sketchy. Okay. Shortly after, two girls got onto the bus who were obviously very intoxicated, and my friend noticed the group of guys started pointing at her and whispering about the girls. <laughs> That's like a scene from Taken. Yes. He's like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> That's geez, the target. Dude. They're wearing masks. Yeah. They're like, all right. At this point, my friend, a 5'2", 100-pound girl, starts to tell her boyfriend, we need to watch out for these guys. Good for her. Mind you, the boyfriend, a 6'5", 220-pound guy, tells her- A lot of he measurements. Does, he a lot does, of measurements here. <laughs> size is important here. Yeah. Tells her he does not want to get involved and get into a five versus one fight with these guys. Fair. So it's five dudes. And him, one him. Yes. Yeah. One him. <laughs> what? He is, it turns out he's not him in the, in yeah, the story. Not, yeah. Spoiler. <laughs> He becomes not him. Five guys versus one him. Yeah. They come to their stop and t and two of the guys from that group pick up each girl and throw them over their shoulder to exit the bus. Okay. My friend said she started to panic, so she follows them outside the bus, jumps in front of these guys with the her girl. hands. The yep. girl. Yep. Okay. Jumps in front of the guys with her hands up and says, you cannot take them. Opposite of taken. Okay. Leave them. Uh, other people start looking over and noticing what's going on. Her boyfriend standing next to her gets sucker punched by one of the guys. <laughs> yeah. They drop the girls on the ground and scurry off. Okay. Pretty sure she saved their lives that night. Absolutely love the pod. Enjoy listening every week. Dude, what? She started to panic when the girls were picked up in a fireman's carry and ran off the bus. Fireman's carry. What do you mean? You yeah. started to panic, I think dude. everyone... Call the police. I'm going to go on record and say everyone gets involved here. I think everybody was probably you, involved and she's having a main character moment that she stopped everything. There's no way yeah. everybody wasn't like, hey! All right. Yeah, Austin's, hold on, a, hold on. Austin's she a big said, city, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> she said the guys in the group picked each girl up and throw them over their shoulder. Yeah. She didn't say... This right, not cradling, not cradling. Right, just say, let me help you home. They, like, did they put also a bag over their heads? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. This, yeah. this is this, crazy. This seems, <laughs> I have, I, I have some issues with the story. I think there's no way she's the only one who was like, "Stop! You can't take those you girls. Stop! You now. can't take them. now." This is a listener. We need to be. We need to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's, but if this is true, awesome. Oh, fantastic! No, 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 that no, no, the girls no. didn't. I believe that. I believe that this is kind of true. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And if you if they threw the girls over, I need it. We need an email back from her. It says, Are you sure on record that they threw the girls over their shoulder? Over their shoulder is crazy. Over your shoulder? 
I believe that like talking and like pointing and gesture, uh, that could be up for debate. Sure. But the shoulder is or isn't. Yes. That is or isn't. And right. if that is true, right. everyone is involved. Yes. And also, if they got on at different stops. Which it sounds like they did. Then that's definitely not, they're not with them. It so sounds like that because them. they said shortly after yeah. two girls got onto the bus. So he, they're, yeah, yeah. So it's not, they're not with them. No. They got on, they wouldn't be like, hey, we're, we're on the 12. It's coming by at 1236, jump on. Right. No possible way. I want to know how many other people were on the bus. I want to know how many other people were on the bus. But stop, you can't take that. Also, also just the, the, the boyfriend taking strays. Dude, poor guy. And, oh. and this is however many years later. He's like, I thought we were done with this. Yeah. Still taking strays. I like that he was like, I don't want to get involved, babe. <laughs> yeah. Please don't say anything. I don't want to get yeah. involved. And then meanwhile, she gets involved and, that, and yeah. he gets hit in the face. <laughs> I don't want to get hit. But also, well, you're about to get you're hit. If you're 6'5 yeah. and 200 something pounds, yeah. That's your uh, you are obligated. Yeah, you're to obligated to get involved. And what's it, the size that you? What's the the bottom threshold yeah. that makes you obligated to get if, involved? If you're breach it, like you have to get involved. You're tall. Andy, you got to get involved. Six two two fifteen. I don't. And, I'm, unless he's I'm in a truck. Foot, if he's above you in a truck, right? Unless <laughs> I'm six foot, about yeah. maybe five eleven. I don't think I have to get involved because of why your height, your height, height and size. I disagree because you have more power than me. It, what's more important, height no. or size? No. You're missing. Uh, what's What's more important is is principle. If you're if you're a a small person, whoops. If you're small, <laughs> 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 whoops. Yep. If you're a m minus size small person, that's what I was gonna say. Minus size, like smaller size. Uh, you if it's if it, it's principle. If your girl, if somebody touches your wife, it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter if that's the Hulk. You have to get involved. No, no, no. Yeah, for sure. But I'm talking size about doesn't matter. It's the principle of what we're fighting about. And inter we're talking about intervening in like a public setting that yep. theoretically is none of your business. But yes. something sketchy might be going on. Because you go, I'm going to have to f physically stop this. So you're, yeah. you're saying if it's you and me on the bus, we're sitting together in the scenario. Out. I have to get involved. I can't, I, mean, I should, can't leave it to you. You should, should get, involved get involved too, involved. but you're saying yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is if funny. one person you should get yeah. first, yeah. Yeah. you shouldn't expect me to get involved because you're bigger than me. Okay. So, so, so it's relative. He's off the hook. So your size is relative to who else is around you then. And Because exactly. if, if then you, it's me, you, and this guy who's 6'5", 220, I should he's, be able to yeah, look at him and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so if you're on the if you're on the stand, <laughs> so I just got to make sure there's bigger guys. Around. Yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah. you're in court and you go, what are you doing? You go, yeah, he's he's yeah. Shit six five. Yeah, what do you mean? Come on, six five, dude. I'm out. Check the stats. <laughs> yeah, check this guy. Yeah. Six five. What do you mean? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, this is a crazy story. Yeah, it is. Uh, and I do believe that the, if that is true, that they did that they did stop. And and yeah. I think that you go, oh, I'm gonna have to fight five guys. I don't. You're not. No. You're gonna now if you. If you stand up to intervene, you, that might, you might come to that. Right. But usually it's, hey. Yeah. And then it, it de-escalates. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. The, people people in the emails who came back and said, I sh the girl yesterday threw the trash out. That, I, that a lot of people said trash. People have somebody throwing trash out. Hey. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not going to fight somebody over that. No. But you should intervene. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just want to intervene just for the podcast, just for stories. <laughs> that's like, it's a that's good like way to get being, shot. Being a comedian, you're like, well, this is going to be an unbelievable story. Yeah. All right, we got one more email? Two more. Uh, one, one more. more. We get out yeah, one more. Uh, a little bit of a fact check here. I'll read this one. Sure. I'm a little late on this one, but I live in Reno and used to work for the police agency that the topic of the protest, the Burning Man. Last week, we talked about Burning Man. Two weeks ago, there was a, a climate protest or something like that. Mm -hmm. What a lot of people don't realize is that not even 24 hours before this incident, the agency lost an officer in the line of duty. Not one of these officers had time to process the inc incident and grieve at the loss of their brother before having to deal with Burning Man, which is always stressful. Yeah, Reno, I guess this is, that's probably your Super Bowl, the Reno Police Department. Yeah. This whole thing just added insult to injury, so to speak. I appreciate your take on it, especially uh, on modern protesters in general. It's about how it looks, not actually about caring. Fallen officer Anthony, can you say that? Francone. Francone will be honored 9-9-2023 nine, nine, at the Greater Nevada Baseball Game. Thanks always for uh, brightening my day. Shout out. Uh, it's officer lost for sure. I yeah. think that's all, I think that too is important that somebody messaged in. I want to say that. Yeah. Yeah. 
that is somebody in the line of duty also i i when you saw that uh when you saw that uh ford f-150 driving up you could tell for sure you could tell not that i didn't know that but you could tell something yeah he was upset you know like he yeah you could tell by the way he, he was, was driving like, not today he wasn't coming up to learn mm -mm. he was driving <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't not a very open-minded approach you're like somebody get, got out of the car or like oh something has already yeah happened he's come he, he you could tell by the way he's driving he goes no and i don't know what i don't know what it was that was this is probably part of it mm -hmm. and this doesn't let you off the hook to do whatever you want for sure but that, that you go that i oh got it it's, it's like, this is like uh jimmy fallon no come on that's it <laughs> he's like i'm not enough is enough yeah 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 a little bit more grace there he drove me. up and goes no, we're not doing this yeah we're not doing this and party already the pro yeah the burning man the burning man thing is is crazy because you're like the, the that whole thing we talked about it last week you were yeah. gone i didn't catch yeah i didn't catch a ton of the stuff on my feed but yeah caught it from you guys i thought it was awesome i think burning man's awesome and also wow. it's going to be way bigger next year yep. because of the, it's everywhere yep oh yeah uh what do you want to do things we don't care about yeah right well, one of everybody's favorite segment this what is it, is i week, love it the week of what the week of September 13th. Yep. The week of September 13th, 2023. Things we do not have time to care about. Number one, Spectrum versus Disney. Mm -hmm. All the cable channels are in fight with Disney and ESPN. Hey, we're gonna get we're gonna figure out where the game is. And we probably have it somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get it on our phone. We don't care about Spectrum not having the Disney channels or whatever argument that is. We do not care about Barack Obama's sexual past. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. And I'm I would consider myself, if I had to choose a side, to be on on the Republican side. And this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing that any would try to dig that up. Yeah. We don't care. No. Nope. Also, I don't care about 9-11 conspiracies. Don't care. We've been 20 years. It's it's a shame, honestly, that a lot of people have lost their lives, and, it, and that's what a lot of people talk about. Mm -hmm. FDA's new COVID boosters for the fall. Don't care. <laughs> FDA, <laughs> do they have one really? Yeah, that's really happening. Yeah, I do not care. Yeah. <laughs> we do not care. Things, uh, things that we do not care about. The FDA's new COVID boosters coming for the fall. Do not care. You're still in summer mode anyway, so it doesn't I don't matter. Care. It doesn't yeah, apply I'm to still you. in the summer. Yeah. I'm gonna wear this next week. And lastly, things we don't care about. <sighs> it's the writer strike. <laughs> We don't care. This is getting mean at this point. I get, I get a lot of. Uh, there's some on somebody's email about uh, raising money. Mm -hmm. He's raising money because he's a, like a he works in Hollywood and he can't afford to live. And he's I'm like on his emails. Don't care. He's like I won't be able to find a job back home in Idaho. Yeah, you will. You will. You will. You will. Maybe not a writing job. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> and New York City rent. Still don't care about that. Yeah. Still do not care. Net positive. See you next week. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive.